and that's the chair that moves on its own. And uh, I'm just tired, you know, there's... Did you see it? You think? Cody is completely unaware of what appears to be a small girl standing... What it is, guys! It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and I am here today ruining my life because today we're here to watch top... 20 scariest TikTok ghost videos of the year. Oh my God, my body is super duper not ready, man. I don't know why I'm doing this, but here's what y'all want, man. So, oh God. Let's do this before I change my mind, man. Just in case I have to shit on somebody. Or my the top 20 scariest TikTok ghost videos of the year. TikTok user DarkSecret37 is a mother from the Philippines currently living in Japan with her two sons. One evening in the spring when the Sakura trees are in full bloom, the two boys make a video with one of their friends filming. What happens next is truly bizarre. <laughs> Did you see it? A hand wraps around one of the boy's legs. The guy who's recording is shocked and hurries over to inspect the area around the two boys. But there's nothing and no one there. Some Japanese TikTok commenters believe that long ago someone was buried on the spot where the Sakura tree now stands and that the restless spirit tried to reach out to the children. Yeah, right into his gooch. What is this, the ghost of EDP 445? Good lord. The ghost of Lion Maker. The ghost of Shane Dawson. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Not the kids, baby. What is it, a ghost of Herbert the pervert out this bitch? I hope nobody finds the money strapped to my inner thigh, because that's where the ghost was grabbing at. Literally. But what do you think this creepy hand could be? Is it real or just an elaborate uh, hoax? Is a ghost of a To Catch a Predator contestant. Jesus. <laughs> you decide. Caught on camera. TikTok user Summer, who is a mother of two, lives in a small house in an old town in rural Georgia. Late one night, Summer takes her phone out to record a quick video in her backyard. But she immediately notices something that is absolutely unnerving. Y'all, I am in my yard. Watch my face. This is not an app doing this. This is my yard. The church is behind me. Watch my face. Whoa! Church, you can see straight through me. I kid you not. Look at this. Whoa. On camera, Summer's face seems to twist and distort into something unrecognizable as she simply moves around in her own backyard. Summer says that she is deeply worried that the strange old church across the street might be the cause of the creepy occurrence. She attempts to find information about the history of the old church, but she hits a dead end and is left with no answers. So did Summer catch a bizarre paranormal visual disturbance on camera? Or just what is going on here? That shit. Can you not show that to me? Oh my god. Meanwhile, on TikTok. More than 150 years old, the Anson Call House is known for its ghost stories. A family that lived here for close to 20 years says there's no question this place was haunted. On Halloween night, paranormal investigation team Paranosis hosts a live event on their TikTok page as they investigate the allegedly haunted Anson Call House in Bountiful, Utah. The historic home was built in 1859 and was the home of Mormon pioneer Anson Call and his five wives. It is said that Anson was a cruel man and would lock his wives in the basement if they did not obey him. He eventually passed away inside the home. 84 years later, it is said that Ted Bundy kidnapped and held a woman in the Anson Call home before taking her life. Damn. 
Lead investigator Bennett Rain and her team are broadcasting live outside the house when suddenly they all see something absolutely terrifying. Can you not what? show it to us? There's like a knock on the sound of like I don't want to see it. Knock on a window or something. I'm done. I can't. Trying to draw us. Freaking, that's where it was trying oh, to draw. Dr- what? Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it is the freaking ceiling. Here's someone talking. There's some girls out in the front. Run, ho! Okay, that's the freaking ceiling. Freaking. I don't. I don't know. What? It was out the window. No! What? There was a thing like smashing up against the glass. Oh my god. Uh, was that in the front? Was that the front of the freaking house? Run, man! Run! Nope. What was that? The window. It's coming from inside. It hit the. Oh my god. No! This has been happening the whole time. No. That's been happening the whole time. You were in yeah. here. Somebody's been banging on the window and the door. We got it on video too. Don't go in there. Don't you do it. Ho, oh, don't do it. Run, ho! Okay. Run, I think ho. I'm done. I need to get. Get out! Get out! What the hell? Run, bitch! Is that gonna break the. <laughs> I don't know. Why are you still there? Is that coming from upstairs or downstairs? Okay. I think. Okay, that's the freaking. I'm done. Okay. We gotta go in. You're gonna go in? Let's go in. No! Why would you go in when the freaking house is falling apart? The remains of a bed frame fly up towards the ceiling. The shocked investigators quickly head inside to investigate. No, this is bad. This is, I think bravery. this is where the banging was this coming bravery, from. Bad bravery. This is for sure. Where, look. Don't be brave. Look at that. That's what I saw flying around. I saw that in the window. Yeah, it was like clear up by the ceiling. Now this terrifying event was all captured live and fans of the Paranosis team shared their recordings of the investigation on TikTok. What makes the footage even more compelling is that paranormal fan Ashley came along on the investigation and she too captured chilling footage of the Anson call home. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. There's the neighbor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you guys see stuff a lot? Like Not really. Me? I just hear things in my bedroom. Oh, that's crazy. Night. Nah, no, 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 no. If I live, like, my bedroom's like right on this side, on this side right here. Yeah. Oh! Here's the glass. Oh. That was glass! <gasps> Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, so we're over. <sighs> yeah, the neighbor came over and was like, I know. Are there people in there? And they're like, someone's knocking on our and I was like, no, like I think it might be the vibration from this. The kid that came up to us, he lives next door, and he was saying that um he never sees anything, but he hears stuff all the time and his window to his bedroom was right next to the house and he said he hears stuff all the time that's why he came out running but they did say the neighbors on the right hand side like the opposite side of him they always see women walking around upstairs where a lot of that banging was happening so no thanks now with so many witnesses to these paranormal events it makes you wonder whether the anson call home might be truly haunted and I- someone or something from the other side was banging on the doors and windows in an attempt to get out. But as always, I leave that to you to decide. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you want, child's play. Marika DeVitt from the Netherlands posts on TikTok that she is worried about her youngest son. 
Two-year-old Mateo is playing in his room upstairs when Marika hears the boy yelling. She hurries upstairs to check on him, but everything seems fine. But when she looks at her security footage to see what the problem was, she is shocked. appears to be looking at and even arguing with someone or something that we can't see. Then the two-year-old seems to be pushed backwards onto the floor. Now Marika says that Mateo is fine and was completely unharmed. But this is where the story takes a very strange turn. You see Marika says that she was originally pregnant with triplets, but sadly the other two fetuses failed to develop, leaving only little Mateo. Marika believes that Mateo might be visited by the spirits of his unborn siblings. But what do you think happened to little Mateo? Let me know. The Demon Down the Hall Supernatural investigator Cody Aaron says in his YouTube and TikTok videos that he doesn't believe that ghosts are real, or at least that they aren't the lingering spirits of humans. Instead, he believes that all paranormal experiences are actually demonic in nature. Cody says that he has successfully helped troubled families struggling with demonic presences for years. So when a family member reaches out to Cody about the terrifying activity occurring in their office building, the concerned investigator doesn't hesitate to offer a helping hand. But what he encounters in this office building even takes him by surprise. Cody records as he explores the creepy empty office space at night. What happens next is downright chilling. No. Okay, you guys, so uh, this is the door that moves on its own, and that's the chair that moves on its own. And uh, I'm just tired, you know, there's absolutely nothing here this time. I, I've not seen anything. Uh, it's 946, and usually everything happens by this time, but nothing's going on. There was way more people than what's usually here today, so I kind of guess maybe that's what it is, and I'm just going to call it a day. Uh, I'll start again tomorrow, maybe, and we'll see what we No. Okay, so uh, I'm the only one here right now, and the door just closed. Run! Run, run, bitch! On its own. Uh. Run, ho! Run, ho! Did you see it? You think? Cody is completely unaware of what appears to be a small girl standing right behind him. When he walks into the room the figure appeared in, did you see that? It disappeared. What in the world? Okay. I, I'm going over. I I have to see what this is. No, you don't. See, what are you doing? And look. Here is the motion detection for me in this room. There I am on the screen. There's no motion detection. Look, look, it's moving. And there's no motion detection right there. That is nuts. Look at that. No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Ah, I thought that was a ghost. Let's do it. No, don't. Can we not? Okay, yeah, I'm going to need Eric's help for this. I, I'm not going to do this by myself. Cody is shocked when suddenly a loud voice yells, leave. Leave. 
So could it be that the office building is haunted by a demonic presence? Or could it all just be an elaborate hoax? You, you decide. You can check out more paranormal moments over on Cody Aaron's TikTok page and YouTube channel. TikTok user Lacey Nicole is a theater teacher at Sarasota High School in Florida. Lacey says that there have always been stories about the ghost of, quote, Shannon, a Victorian woman who is said to haunt the high school's theater. Back in 2007, during a high school production of Beauty and the Beast, many believed that Shannon the Ghost made a very unexpected appearance, and it was all captured on camera. unexplained apparition of a woman in a flowing white dress can be seen floating 8 to 10 feet above the stage. Now it should be noted that this was in no way a part of the play. So could this be the spirit of Shannon, the Victorian era ghost that haunts the theater? Let me know what you think. less traveled. TikTok user Rifki from Bengkulu, Indonesia says that he was returning from a quick trip to pick up some items at the local convenience store. But on his way back home, he has a terrifying encounter. Okay guys, gue dari baru dari Indomaret dan gue habis belanja di Indomaret dan sekarang waktu mau balik ke kos dan di ujung itu kayak ada orang orang atau apa gue enggak tahu ya guys dan ini cuma jalan satu-satunya untuk ke kos gue gitu. Oke kita deketin aja ya, pelan pelan. Mungkin nggak tahu ya, ini orang atau enggak ya. Gue nggak tahu apa aja. A strange woman seems to just stand motionless on the side of the road. Rifki is freaked out, and since this is his only way home, he decides to just run past the bizarre woman. But when he turns to look back, she has disappeared. The chilling figure appears to be a woman in a dress with her hair covering her face. Rifki is uncertain of what he has just witnessed and wonders if he captured something paranormal. So is this a real ghost caught on camera or just someone acting really strange? I leave it up to you to decide. The Casper Mountain Crawler TikTok user Isaiah Harris and his cousin Brock are out on a hiking trip on Casper Mountain in Wyoming. In the middle of the night, as they are crossing a bridge, they start to hear strange groaning noises that seem to be coming from underneath the bridge. Isaiah pulls out his phone and starts to record as they go to investigate. What happens next is downright terrifying. Cousin took a bridge. hike in the middle of the night. That means that we're close. And what we found was the most terrifying the thing I've ever witnessed. Dude, did you hear that? You didn't hear that. There's something under there. Don't go look at it. Don't go looking. Bro. Stop investigating. Why people don't? Why people don't? Dude, please don't go down there. Why people don't? Oh my gosh. 
Dude, hold on. Let me go first. Let me go first. Some bizarre pale humanoid shape can be seen lurking in the darkness of the sewer tunnel. The two hikers just make a run for it. Isaiah posted his spooky experience to TikTok and the video instantly went viral. But many viewers were skeptical about the strange sudden cut at the end of the video. So Isaiah posted an update to explain. So let me just explain something. I actually film on three different apps at a time to film my videos. Last night, I was trying to film everything on Snapchat. So whenever I recorded, whatever I recorded, um, I wasn't gonna just sit there and record it because yeah. I was running for my life, okay? Yeah, and I'm not trying to be funny about this. Um, literally, I was puking. Like, I mean, opened his door mid-drive and vomited. I don't know if it was because I was genuinely terrified or if it was because I was running so much, but I, yeah, I, I did. But I did manage to screenshot what was under that bridge and enhance it for you guys, and I'll, I'll show you that. Yeah, um, let me just tell you, I've never been more terrified in my entire life. I can't even look at this picture right now. For you guys saying that it was like a friend or like somebody else down there, it may have been a homeless guy. I, I heard that theory, but I do not know what he would have been doing down there, butt naked, maybe taking a bath, but the sounds and everything about it just did not sit right with me. Now, after many requests, or some might say dares, from his viewers, Isaiah and his cousin Brock decide to go back to Casper Mountain no. and spend the entire night camping out no. in the spooky woods. No. So we're doing it. No. We got the four-wheeler in the back, tents, and a hammock that I brought. <sighs> we're up here. <laughs> so we're gonna spend the entire night to try to find whatever it was that we saw last night. Um, we're up on the mountain where we did see it, kind of close by. There was a waterfall that's kind of more down the mountain, but we're gonna try and find it tonight. We're gonna be up all night. No yeah, sleep. Alright right, guys, we're here. Um, we're about to unload the four-wheeler, but have some fun. Kind of just camp out for a little bit. We got our sight and yeah. Forgot your axe? This is how we do it down here in the Wyoming. Oh yeah, look at that break. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of creepy. Look, hope he doesn't jump out to scare me. Brock, please don't scare me. Oh my god. So he's got this terrible lighting. Can't walk right. Oh my goodness. But we're literally trying to land the force real quick. We're just walking back right now. And like legit, I think we're lost because I don't have any idea where we're at. Do you know where we are? Dude. Oh hell no. Okay y'all, so we're back at camp. We didn't really get anything. We've been out here since like what, we started looking at about 10, and it's already like 2.30. Sorry guys, maybe we can come back up here and film another one, but I don't know. Other than some creepy footsteps, Isaiah and Brock don't really capture much of anything that night. Or at least, that's what they thought. Because, did you see it? No. You know where we are? Dude, oh hell no. Right after they hear footsteps, someone or something can be seen running through the trees, hiding in the dark. So Isaiah and many of his viewers believe that some kind of strange creature is living on Casper Mountain. Some even believe this thing to be a skinwalker or a rake. But who or what do you think this is? Hell Let me know down in the comments Hell through the looking glass. TikTok user Kaylin Moore from Los Angeles, California claims that an old mirror in her home sometimes shows things that just aren't there. So this is an old mirror that I upcycled? Folks, as always, I leave it up to you to decide. Own. Hi guys, I'm just giving an update on what happened to the phone. Well, I threw it away. Um, I didn't think anything at the time of when I threw it away um, that I shouldn't have until I watched the video. Um, after watching the video, it didn't sit right with me. It kind of um, gave me the creeps, actually. But um, there really is no story time. 
The phone was broken. The face was cracked. There was a battery on top of the face, like in the front of the face, but it was broken. So I threw it away. Um, that's it. There's really no story time. He just played and um, I kept recording him. So that's what I do. I record all my kids when they're playing baseball, football at the park. I'm that mom <laughs> that records every minute and second of their lives. Um, but that's it. So, unfortunately, Monique threw the phone away, leaving us all to wonder just what was on that broken phone. Now, I have to say that this is one of the strangest videos I've ever seen, but what do you think? Did a spirit tell the little boy to find the phone, or just what is going on here? You tell me. The New Bern Haunting Sam Aldridge, his wife, and two young children live in a beautiful home in New Bern, North Carolina that was built in the late 1950s. Although the home is charming and spacious, Sam says that the property's history is not good. One of the previous owners passed away in the upstairs master bedroom, and the remains of two unidentified individuals were found buried in the backyard. Cause of death, unknown. Sam and his wife have both witnessed creepy unexplained activity in the house and they believe their home might be haunted. Even their family dog Loki seems very disturbed by what's going on. He has no shot collar, no shot collar at all. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off just so you all know that there's nothing there. Come on, bud. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Dog know it's not good, bro. The dog already know it's not good. Tail down. Oh, I posted it. What the? See, me and him both heard that. And see now he's gonna and run and leave me up here like a douche bag. See? Straight up. Sam says that not only does the house have an odd history, but an odd layout as well. In particular, there is a strange door upstairs that seems to lead nowhere and has no stairs leading up to it. In a video, as Sam explains where the door is located, he captures something downright creepy. You can kind of see just how high up that door actually is if you're on the bottom floor. Uh, yeah, you're looking at 10 plus 8, so you're looking at least 18 feet from your feet coming down. Why the f A strange shadow figure can be seen and two different voices can be heard seemingly speaking to Sam. If you're on the bottom floor, bottom floor, bottom floor. Why the f Sam has no idea what he just captured and simply explains that the area behind the door is attic storage space. So, one night Sam begins to hear strange sounds throughout his house. He hits record on his phone and goes to investigate. And that's when he sees something that shocks him to his core. What looks like creepy glowing wide set eyes seem to appear out of the darkness, peering at Sam as he stares back in terror. Whatever it is, then just seems to disappear. And that's not all that Sam has captured inside his haunted home. The creepy activity even starts to occur 
in the middle of the day. A loud sound startles Sam, and when he turns around, a white translucent figure appears to push a rocking horse, causing it to rock slowly back and forth. Now, with all this collected and highly disturbing footage, of course Sam's TikTok following is undecided on whether to believe his story or just write it off as another elaborate TikTok hoax. So is it real supernatural activity or just some very good editing? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. Neighbor. Hell no. Absolutely not. Not dealing with none of this. I don't understand why these people just don't move. I'd rather be homeless. Damn that. Not about that life. You're going to have to work for to, to kill me. Damn it. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to go pray. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Twizzles.